I welcome you in the course of leadership, emotional intelligence and decision making. This is module number 35 and we are going to talk about cultivating empathy. As you all may know that empathy is much more important than sympathy. When you are empathetic, you are basically taking care of the other people. You are taking care about their emotions, moods and feelings. And when you are empathetic, you are actually trying to put yourself in their shoe. So, when you have to cultivate empathy, remember that there should be ability to recognize emotions in oneself and others. Hum is baat ko jaan sake ke humari apni feelings kya hai, but at the same time we have to pick up the context ke dusre log apni feelings kaise rakhte hai. The second important thing when we talk about empathy is basically focusing upon the perspective. That is a cognitive component and we have to see कि हमारा जो perspective है और दूसरे person का जो perspective है उसमें किस कदर synchronization और patronization है. So, we have to focus and we have to understand the perspective of another person when we are trying to be empathetic. The third important thing when we talk about empathy is basically affective component and that is sharing of emotions with the other people and understanding and knowing how they are feeling in different contexts. So, there is certain capacity of empathy which we have to focus upon and the capacity of empathy is basically talking about our thinking patterns, our feelings, moods, emotions and obviously our sensing. Ab ye teeno aisi cheeze hain jiske baare mein hame na ke sirf apne baare mein samajhna hai balki is baat ko bhi zehen mein rakhna hai ke dusre log kisi bhi given moment mein kisi bhi given situation mein kis tarah se sochenge unke thinking patterns kya honge wo kyun kar feel karenge unki feelings ko kya kya cheeze trigger kar rahi hain or at the same time we have to see that how they are feeling and sensing how they are behaving so in cheezon ko janne se hum apne empathetic concern ko behtar se behtar wo kar sakte hain so when we have to talk about attention and working memory jisme ki hum situation ke mutabik apne conscious mind ko use karte hain to we have to bear in things that there are certain phenomena which we have learned through mindfulness training and mindfulness testing अब उस माइंडफुलनेस ट्रेनिंग में हमें इस बात को सिखाया जाएगा कि हम किस तरह से अपने कॉन्शियस माइंड में रहते हुए अपनी वर्किंग मेमोरी कैपेसिटी को भी बेहतर कर सकते हैं और अपने आप को ज्यादा फोकस और ज्यादा टेंशन में रख सकते हैं देयरफॉर जब हम एक सोशल एक्टिविटी में इन्वॉल्व होते हैं जब एक लीडर का अपने फॉलोअर्स के साथ इंटरेक्शन होता है तो द लीडर नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड कि ही और शी हैज टू रिड्यूस द नेगेटिव इमोशंस and he or she has to focus upon the positive assessments and the spread of the positivity so that dusre logon ka trust dusre logon ki credibility uske sath maintain ho and at the same time wo log overcome kar sake apni life ke biases ko aur apni life ki negativities ko so leader has to play a very important role in this context at the same time the followers also need to come up with their potential and when we talk about the followers remember that they have to try to reduce their distress and they have to focus more upon their eustress. stress jab wo apne eustress stress ko badhayenge wo positive energies ko use karenge wo positive change ki baat karenge to obviously unke andar enthusiasm bhi create hoga and they would be better able to work in synchronization and patronization with the leader agar hum is sari baat ko conclude kare to yaad rakhiyega ke hame different moments mein डिफरेंट तरह के इमोशनल कॉन्टेक्स को यूज करने की जरूरत है और एक लीडर की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है कि वो अपने फॉलोअर्स के साथ मिलकर एक ऐसा इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करे जिसमें के पॉजिटिविटी के ऊपर बात हो जिसमें के नेगेटिविटीज को ओवरकम हम कर सकें एंड एट द सेम टाइम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जो गोल्स हैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के जो मिशन विजन है उसकी तरफ भी हमें डेवेलप करना है